Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys my review of the Logitech MX Master. And this might be the next YouTuber mouse. And that title was previously held by this mouse's older brother, the Performance Mouse MX, which was also made by Logitech. And I call it the YouTuber mouse because pretty much every YouTuber uses it. I know there's other options out there, but a lot of YouTubers have used the Performance Mouse MX to edit their videos and do other online work. And so the MX Master has a lot to live up to and we'll see if it can live up to that expectation and take the place as the next YouTuber mouse. Throughout this video, we will be comparing the MX Master to, like I said, the Performance Mouse MX and also the Logitech G700S, which is a gaming mouse from Logitech. But before we get to those, let's just talk about what comes with the MX Master. And with it, you get a little pamphlet that just says some technical information, stuff nobody reads. And then you get a micro USB cable for charging. And then you get a Logitech unifying receiver. They are shipping this with a lot of their products now. You can use more than one device with these products. And so plug one in your computer, you're ready to go with a bunch of different wireless Logitech products. If we take a look at the MX Master a little bit closer, you can see the design of it and how it contours to the hand. I think it feels pretty good in terms of just using it. And I think they took a little bit different design approach to this mouse than they did the Performance Mouse MX. Uh, the Performance Mouse MX seems a little bit more curvier and rounder, and the MX Master just seems to have designs that are more, not necessarily rigid, but they're more purposeful. Um, a lot of straight angles, and uh, you know the mouse comes to a point kind of at the top rather than a round top like the Performance Mouse did. Um, none of this really affects how it's used, it's just how it looks. Uh, but I do like the design choices they made. I really like the gesture pad, just how it's just different, kind of like triangles and tiled. I think they really did a nice job there. Um, and I just think it looks like a good mouse overall. In terms of buttons, we have your standard left and right buttons. You have a scroll wheel, which can be set to scroll regular. And then if you scroll faster, um, it'll kind of let loose and scroll, have a smooth scrolling and scroll really fast. Or while the mouse is on, you can press the mode switch button and it's just a smooth scrolling completely all the time. On the side, we have the gesture button that your thumb rests on. We have the horizontal scroll wheel, and then we have the forward and back buttons. And that's all the buttons are on the mouse. And the horizontal or the vertical mouse wheel also has a button into it. You can click it. Um, and all these buttons can be customized. In the software that should download when you connect the mouse, if it doesn't, you can go to Logitech's website and download it. You can customize what all the buttons do except for the, la the left and right mouse click. You can switch those buttons um, between the left and the right. You can make this the right and this one the left. Uh, but the, all the other buttons though, you can customize to open programs, play songs, do pretty much anything you want. And those options are all available in that software. You can change the scroll rate, how the scroll works, all kinds of stuff. And you can explore that software whenever you download it after you get the mouse. On the bottom of the mouse, we have an on off switch. We have our connect button if we're gonna be connecting through Bluetooth. Then we have the laser and this laser can be used and the mouse can be used on any surface, glass, tables, whatever. Um, this laser enables it to be used on glass in reflective surfaces. And then we at the bottom, we have an easy switch. So basically it can be set to three different modes. With this computer, I have it set to mode one. I have the Logitech unifying receiver connected to this computer. My Logitech, or my Logitech, my laptop uses Bluetooth. And so I press the number two, touch it again to get the number two to light up. It'll be connected to my laptop through Bluetooth. And I have the number three set up as my computer at work, which runs off Bluetooth. And so I can easily switch between all three of those computers with just pressing a button. I don't have to unplug the receiver and take it to another computer. It just works very well. And now one other thing I like to point out about the bottom of the mouse is just how, how it looks. The Performance Mouse MX has a flat bottom and also has a battery compartment. This mouse does not have a battery compartment and it does not have a flat bottom. I think the kind of the ridges and the contours on the bottom help this mouse to move a lot smoother on mouse pads or really whatever you move your mouse on, a lot smoother compared to other mice. It's just kind of logic. If there's less touching the surface, there's gonna be less friction, therefore your mouse will move smoother. And so I really like how, what they did with this and I think this mouse does really move smooth on any surface that you use it on. So I've talked about the look, the buttons, the software, and how it works. Let's talk about battery. Now, I used the Performance Mouse MX a while back. Then I got the Logitech G7, G700S for review. Now, this is a gaming mouse. It has a lot more buttons, a um, lot more customizing ability, and uh, it has a removable, ba removable battery as well. 
But one thing I really did not like about this mouse is that the battery life was just, it was bad. Uh, every three or four days I have to recharge this mouse. Really, really got old very quickly. But for uh, some reason I just stuck with it because I figured I'll upgrade sometime in the future and well, I have. Um, Summer had the Performance Mouse MX on her laptop. Uh, so I went from having to charge every three days to theoretically having to charge every 40 days. That's what the website says. I haven't had the mouse for 40 days, I don't know. Uh, but I can say that I charged the mouse two days ago, took it to work, used it for a full day, and then used it here for half a day. So that's around you know 12 to 14 hours of use. Check the software today. It still says it has a full charge and still lights up with three lights whenever I turn it on. That's pretty good if you ask me. The website also states that if you charge this mouse for four minutes, you can get a full day's use. That's really good if you ask me as well, because you don't have a lot of time, you gotta go, you wanna take it with your laptop, plug it in, four minutes, you're charged, you're ready to go. And so I think the battery is gonna be great in this thing. If it's not, I'll make an update video letting you know how terrible the battery is. Uh, but I think it's gonna be really good and I'm not gonna miss having to charge my battery every three days. And so how does the MX Master compare against the Performance Mouse MX in the Logitech G700S? Well, um, this is not a gaming mouse. Let's just get that out of the way right now. If you want a gaming mouse, I think the G700S is a great choice. Um, the battery life isn't the greatest at all. In fact, it's pretty terrible, um, but there are other options from Logitech. I think one's like the G600 or something. Um, they say they have a lot better battery life, but this mouse has like 13 buttons. It's just ridiculous. Um, so it's very customizable, great for gaming, but not for everyday use. Um, between the Performance Mouse MX and the MX Master, it, it depends. It depends what you do and how much you want to spend. If you don't want to spend a lot um, and you just use a mouse for general work and you want a comfortable mouse, the Performance Mouse MX is the way to go because right now you can get this thing for around 60 bucks and it's only going to go down in price and it has, you know, a thumb button, back and forward buttons, you know, scroll wheel that you can lock and unlock um, and it's comfortable and it has a really good battery life. And so if you just want a generally good mouse, that's a great choice. But if you're somebody who likes doing a lot of creative work, like editing videos, Photoshop, InDesign, really anything that you're gonna be using horizontal scrolling for, this is the winner. Because when I got this, I didn't think I'd use a horizontal scrolling. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice, whatever. But now that I've used it, I really, really like it. So it's one of those things you don't know that you need it until you have it. Um, and I think it works just great in Premiere, Photoshop, any of that stuff you have to horizontally scroll, it works very well. And so if you are a creator and you just want something that's gonna help you be more efficient, the MX Master is the way to go. Um, probably gonna have better battery life since it's newer technology, um, just better all around probably. Uh, the only drawback really to the MX Master that I've found so far is that the forward button is a little bit awkward. I really only use the back button on the Performance Mouse MX to like back up my web pages I was looking at. And so uh, for the MX Master, it's not that big of, a deal, big of a deal. I just move my thumb up and hit the back button. But to get to the forward button, you kind of just have to finagle your thumb in an awkward position to actually hit it. Uh, but that's really the only minor detail that I've found that I really just don't love. Uh, other than that, I really like this mouse. It's smooth, the buttons work, the scrolling's great. I just like this mouse. I can't say enough things about it. I mean, the performance mouse, like I said, still a good choice if you don't want all these bells and whistles and you don't wanna spend a hundred bucks. Uh, but if you are looking for a more advanced mouse and that can connect to three computers, that's also a pretty big deal. That's a nice feature to have. Um, can connect to three computers, has the horizontal scrolling, the MX Master is the way to go. So that's it for my MX Master review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Is this the next YouTuber mouse? It is for me and I like it and I enjoy it and I would definitely recommend it to other creators who are looking for their next upgrade in terms of a mouse. And remember to leave this video a like if you did enjoy it and also subscribe for more videos from me and make sure to check out all my social links. They are all in the description below. And I also will put links to the MX Master down in the description below, as well as the Performance Mouse MX and the G700S. Every mouse you've seen will be in the description below. And so that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay tuned for more videos from me, and we'll see you guys in the next video.